Now we will go into more detail about adult DLS. Instead of only focusing on one rescuer CPR, the AHA update suggests that everyone learn both one rescuer and two rescuer resuscitation. First we have the one rescuer BLS process. The general adult BLS process is to reach safety, assess the victim, call 911, perform CBR, and defibrillate. Now you are going to learn how to perform CPR as a lone rescuer. Step 1 is to check for a pulse on the side of the neck for 10 seconds. If there is little or no pulse, begin CPR. In some cases, you may not be sure if you feel a pulse. Begin CPR anyway with a cycle of 30 chest compressions and 2 breaths. Step 2. Place the heel of one hand on the lower half of the sternum in the middle of the chest. For the third step, put your other hand on top of the first one and interlock your fingers. Then straighten your arms and press straight down. Each compression should be at least 2 inches into the chest and at a rate of at least 100 per minute. Step 5. Let the chest recoil to allow blood to return to the heart. Make sure you do 30 compressions. Step 6 is opening the airway by putting your hand on the victim's forehead and tilting the head back. With your other hand, lift the jaw using your index and middle finger. If the victim appears to have a neck injury, do not move the head. For step 7, deliver the breath and watch the chest rise. If the chest does rise, deliver the second breath. Finally, in step 8, repeat the cycle of 30 chest compressions and 2 rescue breaths, and continue to do so until AED or EMS arrives. Now we are going to go into the BLS process with two rescuers. The steps for CPR are similar between one rescuer and two rescuer BLS. However, there are some slight differences that we will cover. For the first step, have the second rescuer get the AED ready. Next, deliver chest compressions, counting out loud. Step three, have the second rescuer apply the AED pads to the victim's bare skin. Step 4. The second person properly opens the airway and gives the two rescue breaths. Next, keep going with the CPR cycles, which are 30 compressions followed by two breaths. Switch positions every five cycles. Finally, try to minimize the interruptions of CPR by switching positions while the AED is analyzing the heart rhythm. Another concept is mouth-to-mask ventilation. Breaths should be supplied using a pocket mask if it's available. First give 30 high quality chest compressions using the technique you just learned. Next you're going to seal the mask onto the victim's face. Put four fingers on one hand across the top of the mask and the thumb of the other hand along the bottom edge of the mask. For step three, use the fingers of your hand on the bottom of the mask and open the airway using the head tilt chin lift. If there is a possibility of a neck injury, do not do this. Lastly, begin ventilating by squeezing the air bulb over one second as you watch the chest rise with each ventilation. Make sure you are pressing firmly around the edges of the mask. Now we will go through the steps of bag mask ventilation with two rescuers. Begin by delivering 30 high quality chest compressions, counting them out loud. Step 2. The second rescuer holds the mask with one hand, using the thumb and index finger in the shape of a C, on one side of the mask. This forms a seal between the mask and the victim's face. Use the other hand to open the airway by lifting the jaw. Lastly, the second rescuer gives two breaths for one second each. In the manual you will find two algorithms, a simple one and a more detailed one. The simple BLS algorithm says that if you find an unresponsive victim, to call 911 right away, get an AED, start CPR, monitor the rhythm, and shock if needed. Now here we have a more complex algorithm. This is a list of what constitutes proper BLS. You'll want to be sure to begin compressions within 10 seconds, deliver hard and fast compressions, 
allow the chest to completely recoil between compressions. Minimize interruptions. Make sure the chest rises with each breath, and do not overventilate. If the victim is unresponsive and not breathing normally, call 911 and find a defibrillator. Assess the pulse for no more than 10 seconds. If this is a definitive pulse, give one breath every 5 to 6 seconds, checking pulse every 2 minutes. Keep assessing the pulse every 2 minutes. If there is no pulse, begin cycles of CPR with 30 compressions followed by 2 breaths until an AED arrives. When you get a hold of a defibrillator, check for shockable rhythm. If there is one, deliver one shock and follow with 2 minutes of CPR. Reassess for shockable rhythm. If there is a non-shockable rhythm, keep doing CPR and checking the pulse every two minutes. Continue this process until the EMS arrives or the victim shows signs of responsiveness. This concludes the basic life support for adults. Thank you 